Hey, welcome everybody who is over on Facebook. We are about to go live here with our radio stations as well. So hold on one sec. Here we go, everybody. Welcome, welcome. Greg Peterson here on WGAN and uh, elsewhere, of course, also on Facebook. Facebook Live is where you'll find me there. Just go to craigpeterson.com slash Facebook. And you can sign up for my weekly newsletter where I make sure you have all of the latest news, everything that you need to know. And right now we're going to talk about everybody's favorite browser, well, except for mine. And one of the companies that we use goes by the name of Duo. And uh, what they have recently found out about our friends over at Google and Chrome. Now, if you are a big follower of mine and you've attended some of my uh, pop-up trainings, I do quite a few of those. Those are always free, and, and I have some uh, tutorials as well. I talk a lot about extensions because there are quite a number of extensions that can be absolutely fantastic. And I use them all of the time. In fact, if I were to bring up my browser here, you would see a whole bunch of extensions that I use just kind of on a continual basis. Uh, I, I use them to block advertising, certain types. Uh, I use them to block various types of malware. I have some extensions that use artificial intelligence in order to figure out what is this page trying to do. Because we've got things like pop unders where it opens something up and it has a little timer of save for an hour and then it pops up this big scary message that you need to update Windows or update something else because it's out of date and there's hackers out there that are trying to get you. And that's called, by the way, scareware. But it comes through your browser and you have no idea. So some of these extensions that I use are specifically designed to look at the source code on the page, look at not just the HTML, obviously, but look at the JavaScript where so much stuff is hidden. So it pulls in all these pieces of JavaScript. Usually they're pulled in from multiple sites. It assembles them, has a look at them, and will even change them based on what it finds. Now, those are very useful extensions. Then on the other side, there's these toolbar extensions. I don't know if you've used these before. Man, these used to be all of the rage, and I still see them installed in people's computers. And these toolbar extensions give you a little bit of extra something or other, je ne sais quoi, right? It, it's this extension is going to track you when you're online and shopping and tell you where the best deal is. Well, yeah, it, it's tracking you, right? It knows that you're on a shopping site because you give that extension access to all of your browsing history. And then it knows what you're looking at at the site. It knows what you've been searching for because so many of these extensions come with their own little search bar up top, right? Yahoo was one of the, the big guys out there in this browser bar extension business. And every last one of them, at the very least, is spying on you. Now, that's bad, right? It's absolutely bad enough. But now we're looking at this saying, whoa, now wait a minute here. We have now uncovered 500 Chrome extensions that have been secretly uploading the private data from millions of users. Very big deal. Article in Ars Technica. If you are over on the Facebook Live, you'll see the article right there have a direct link to it but this is very bad uh, it was just discovered on Thursday here it's been just about well, just over a week and we found out from these guys that what had happened is that these web store extensions had more than 1.7 million installations it was an independent researcher who worked with a Cisco owned duo security and they found all of these things. They f then reported it privately to Google. 
and the researchers had found 71 and then Google looked at what the researchers had found and how those extensions were coded up how they were behaving and then Google found an additional 430 extensions and Google has removed all known extensions that were doing this so that's the good side of it but that's the known extensions those are the extensions that were doing something that looked suspicious that Google and the security researchers could obviously identify uh, in this case reported here the Chrome extension creators had specifically made extensions that obfuscated the underlying advertising functionality from users now it did say advertising in this quote because here's another thing that they do if you visit a website and you have an extension installed that has access to the websites that you're visiting here's what they've been doing they look for ads from their customers so you've got bad guy Inc okay and then what bad guy Inc does is he goes out and says hey listen I can get you a thousand clicks a thousand new views of your page just pay me up and then what they'll do is they will play some ads for you and they are pay per click ads so every time someone clicks on an ad they have to pay right and uh, some of these ads are cheap at five cents you don't see that too much anymore some of them are five hundred dollars for a single click and that money then goes to Google who then shares it with whoever had the website where the click came from okay so it's a pretty lucrative business well what if you as a bad guy could guarantee clicks on these expensive websites and that's what they're doing with some of these they are watching the pages you're going to they look for an ad from one of these sites that they get some money for and so now they have your browser click on the ad unbeknownst to you you don't even know that it's been clicked on but your browser now clicks on the little ad and they make some money because they have the fake ads that are up so all, all kinds of nastiness that can happen the other side of this is let's say the bad guys want their competitors to stop advertising online so let's say they make uh, they make cups they make this this glass I have here right this water glass and there's other companies out there that make a blue glass kind of like this so they find out what are the ads that this other blue gl blue glass company is running and then they have their little extensions out there and they hire these people that own the extensions to then click on the competitors ads automatically for them so the competitor might have a fifty dollar hundred dollar a day limit with Facebook ads and all of a sudden now that fifty dollars hundred a thousand whatever it is they're spending where they've put a cap on it right so whatever it is they're spending is being 100% wasted because you don't even see the ads so there are so many ways that the bad guys are using these extensions a maze of redirects malware and more some of these plugins will do Bitcoin mining or other types of of uh, blockchain you know cryptocurrency mining out there uh, and there's just all kinds of them hard-coded control servers which by the way I've got another tutorial coming out telling you how to stop your computer from going to some of these command and control servers and that's going to be phenomenal for you so keep an eye out for that coming up in a couple of weeks uh, many of the redirections because they're using redirections as well as part of this uh, go to ads for products from Macy's, Dell, Best Buy. Uh, large volume of ad content, as many as 30 redirects. The deliberate concealment of most ads from end users and the use of the ad redirect streams to send infected browsers to malware and phishing sites. So it goes on. Bottom line beware of extensions, but I also want you to beware of apps right what are the apps that you are using and what what are those apps really providing you with and uh, now I'm talking about apps 
that are on your smartphone or on your tablet, maybe some programs that are on your computers, okay, that are out there. What are those apps? Are those apps something that you really need? Because so many of them are also being used to spy on you, which is another dangerous thing. 